Night falls, temperatures drop a little, people head out to the streets to cool off and show off. The Dubai version of low riding. Just down the way from the world's most luxurious hotel, a South Asian fish shack. I meet back up with Joseph for dinner. And yes, welcome to Bukhtir Cafeteria. So who, who's it for? I mean, who, who are the customers here? Uh, it started very low end. Fishermen used to bring in the catch. And now by word of mouth, most people in Dubai know about this. So it's popular right across the border? Yes. But how many years ago? 25. Oh, they've been around a long time. Yeah, there was, no, there was nothing long. here. There was nothing. It was smaller than this. It was a really small shack. Right. What's the specialty here? Three kinds of fish and prawns. Well, let's do that. Shall we go inside, choose the fish? Yeah, yeah. We're going to bring it out when it's done? Yeah, sure. At Bukatir, you can always count on one thing. They serve only the catch of the day, whatever that is, slathered in a fiery rub accompanied by coconut curry sauce. Very popular around the UAE. People drive 100 kilometers, 150 kilometers just to eat this. Really? Yes. Tonight's catch is grouper and prawns, deep fried to golden perfection and served with traditional parada bread. So I, I see why you uh, suggested we get here early. It's yes. busy. I mean, we, it's we, busy we two minutes after we got up there, you turn around, the whole room's full. The whole room is full. Yeah, right. It's an interesting mix of people from yes. all over. What makes us special is the only one of its kind. I'll tell you, they're doing better business than like all, oh, yes. all the fast food places I've seen in town. Oh, yes. they're, they're empty. Yes. Oh, here comes our food. Freshly grown coconut fish curry. Uh, oh, how nice. Ah, there it is. And bon appetit. Wow. That's very good. I see why people like this place so much. This is very different than the fish curries I've had in, uh, in mm -hmm. India. It's really good. I mean, there's really, really fresh flavors. Not muddy or... or you know, the, the spices don't blow away the, okay. the, the fish. It's really good. Oh, delicious. How big is the fishing industry here? They have an association for fishermen. The government encourages them to keep uh, fishing. And most of that would be for export. Yes. I would imagine there's a huge amount of imported. But they catch a lot of fish as well. here as well. I mean, there's not a lot of food production here. No, other than fish. No, no. I mean, if, if Dubai just keeps growing... Yes. And keeps building. They're going to need some yes. new technology yes. Yes. or some new source. I mean, it was said to me it costs more to make water here than, than to make gas. Oh, yes. <clears throat> a lot of press, they compare Dubai and say it's not as good as this place, not as good as that place. UAE was formed just in 1971. It would be a little unfair to criticize this country. It's, it's still learning. It's still growing takes time. And in every case, you're talking about countries who themselves, during their formative years, were Absolutely. built under appalling yes. situations. situations. I mean, you know, you would hardly want to uh, hear that argument made by a Belgian or an Englishman. Yeah. Um, so if you're a Westerner, let, let's say you're, you're an American or a British okay. uh, guy working here, how do you have to change your life other than alcohol? Uh, yeah, I guess I wouldn't be the best person to answer that. In other ways, you have to modify your behavior. I mean, just to be polite to get along. Just to know? be polite, yes. But that's, again, respecting the local culture. Drunken, loudish behavior in public would probably be unacceptable. Totally. I don't see that as unreasonable. I understand urinating in public is not looked on as a... No, no. Well, it causes some real problems for the British. Uh. They were very, very fond of that. We've learned something here today. Even in Dubai, you don't need air conditioning to have a good time.